Hello Pisces, welcome to your full moon love tarot reading. This is gonna be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, if you have a lot of Pisces in your chart, or if you just have that Pisces vibe. Pisces, this full moon is going to be amazing. It's an Aries full moon. Oh, a lot of stuff coming out. The Tower, the Empress, you, you might be rocking somebody's world. It's the Hunter's moon as well. And for good reason, because this is, this is the light underneath which it is best to hunt. Are you hunting out there? Are you single and hunting? Or are you in a relationship and hunting at home? Let's see. Uh, this can be a bit more racy. The, uh, I just did Scorpio. It was very kind of, very uh, above board. There was nothing kind of, no drama there. Um, no lust. Uh, it was very, um, it's a very well behaved read. But we'll see if things get steamy for you. Uh, we'll do uh, relationship and single. Uh, please, angels, tell me what's coming in. The Hierophant, some lessons to be learned. Some lessons to be learned this full moon Pisces. Um, okay, full moon Pisces. Uh, full moon in Aries for Pisces, please. What is coming in? Eight of Wands. Communication. Communication. And lessons to be learned. For those of you who might be in a relationship, for those of you, of you who are in a relationship, you might be uh, even going away somewhere for a hot, steamy weekend with your lover or your, um, you know, your person, partner, whatever. You might go be going on a journey together of, yeah, just to like hang out, you know, maybe mini weekend away coming up for you. These energies are relevant for the full moon a few days before, a few days after. You might be planning a getaway, a romantic getaway, or you might just be, you know, exchanging messages of love, exchanging the energy of love swiftly, you know, things flowing swiftly. It's quite, uh, it's quite nice. It's quite, um, you know, physical too. Um, if you're single, you might be getting, receiving messages of love. Uh, or you might be, again, also going on a journey where you might meet someone, you might meet someone that you really vibe with. Let's see. There's blessings coming your way this full moon. <laughs> something you're not expecting. This is weird. Scorpio got something similar. Five of Wands. But you, you know, you got this like fire energy here, which is more Aries, more appropriate to the to the full moon. Five of Wands. What you might not be expecting is some conflicts or some competition. You might be getting tested by something. Yeah, just be careful. I'd say be careful, Pisces. This full moon. Don't get involved in any arguments. I said the same thing to Scorpio because it was like a disaster waiting to happen. If you're in a relationship, uh, you might. One thing might lead to another. You might have a conversation with your partner and then you might end up arguing over nothing. Don't do it. Don't don't go down that route because it's like, that's just like, no, don't do it. This is not the time for it. Uh, okay, and what is the gift? But yeah, if you're single, let me just say this. Uh, yeah, and if you're single, don't get involved in a situation with anyone. If you're like, you know, going on dates or you discover something about a new love interest, don't get in, involved in a situation where you have to compete for someone, you know. But also with the Eight of Wands, what's coming in, I forgot to say, for anyone uh, waiting for a message, maybe you're not sure if you're single or not, uh, if you're like in an in-between worlds kind of situation, your message is coming. Message is coming and it's message of love. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. The gift is Ten of Pentacles. You have a lot of stability. Uh, in the coming days, in the coming energies, there's stability. There's stability to be had. And it's about building that stability to Pisces. Um, you know, not getting distracted here with five of wands. Not getting distracted with conflict. But uh, focusing on building on, on stability. If you're in a, in a relationship currently or you're dating someone, this is a very nice, stable uh, relationship. You can definitely work on it. Focus on working Focus on investing your time. Focus on investment in this relationship. Uh, let it grow. You know, water the, the, the plants of love because this is really good for you. Uh, this is a gift. This is a gift you're receiving right now, the stability of this. But you need to keep working on it like we all do uh, when these relationships are good. 
Um, if you're single, you may not be single for long because whatever is coming in with the Eight of Wands is coming in quick, it's coming in fast, unexpected, and it might lead to a very beautiful relationship. And as an additional card here that fell out, we got the higher font. These are lessons learned, perhaps about building, perhaps about trusting in the universe, something unexpected is coming out of wands. Uh, but also the higher font is, you know, you're, you're, you're getting blessed Pisces. This might be your time to meet your uh, future partner, husband, wife, anyone in between. So congratulations, Pisces. Um, things are good. Yeah. If you're single, just know that like, the right things happen at the right time is all I'm going to say. And the keys will be given to you to, to the future, to, to, to your future blessings. So that's what's coming for you, Pisces. Enjoy the full moon. Let me know in the comments below if this resonated with you. Uh, I really appreciate anyone who's subscribed already. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, hit that, that notification button. Uh, comment below with your story. Enjoy yourself, Pisces. Uh, love yourselves, love love each other, love the world. Uh, I'll see you next time. Take care, and may the angels protect you.